Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where we are continuing our Parthia campaign in Rome Total War Remastered. Now we are on episode 10, I know it's been a while, so, you know, I may be a little bit rusty, but I've, I have been playing a little bit of this game uh, in the meantime, so I've been playing with one of the mods that adds a lot of new buildings and new um, settlements and stuff. I probably should have got the name of that for you before we... Uh, before we started but uh it's ready there to go for next time right so i know last time we wiped out pontus we also a couple of episodes ago fought three huge battles in syria where we destroyed three massive egyptian armies um, the power of the horse archers so it, egypt should be fairly okay now um i'm hoping anyway now one problem is we have to get out here whether we can put together like a half army when we get a bit of money, that would be good. But financially, we're not doing great. Uh, militarily, we're doing great because we don't lose a lot of troops uh, whenever we fight. So militarily, we are doing brilliant. We're also kind of low on public order over here. Is that because I moved the capital to Antioch? Let's have a look. Um, no. Seleucia, is that still the capital? Yeah, Antioch is the capital now. So that's better. It's in a lot better position. Um, once we get to towards the middle of the map, we will actually probably move it to Rome. It will be the Parthian Roman Empire. Um, but we will not have the same systems as Rome. We will be a great dictatorship, um, a great kingdom. So let's go and i think we're at the end of this turn so let's end the turn here and see what happens okay the Seleucids are going to attack there it looks like it's probably just a singular cavalry mm, that's good that the rebels moved here brilliant okay what are you you're just a faction leader. That's actually really good. How many turns left? Four turns. So I think we will wait until this is done. Retrain everyone. And then we'll go attack them. Uh, unless, well, we could just go attack them now. I think we do that. This guy's old. How old are you? 25 and he's a superior commander. That's great. Kuru. Let's go do that then. Ah! How did we not manage to reach there? Yeah, we'll get another Barbarian Cavalry just, just to add a little bit. It's funny how Ankira has Barbarian stuff because I think, if I remember correctly, some Gallic tribes moved into this area around around the time. So, you know, it's, it's not Greek-based uh, Alexandrian or Persian. So, interesting that you... That they've actually, you know, they've kept that in the game, which, you know, I know, I know Rome Total War is not historically accurate at all, but that's a nice little detail that they've added in. Okay, we've got a new family member, Haldita, one of the females. That's good. That'll give us another general later on. Um, return report. Frasper. Now, how are we doing for money? Not brilliant. Okay, not a huge amount of buildings have been done. So... I have watched over the last few episodes so that I didn't need to just um, so that I could uh, catch up as quickly as possible. Um, what do we want here? You see, really, we want this to upgrade. Frasper is not happy at all. What is the main issues? Um, disorder, squalor, distance capital, and blockaded. Blockaded's a big issue. You're also unhappy. You're getting something that will make you happy, though. Know whether we recruit some navy. That will help. I don't know whether we have the money for that, though. That's the only issue. And whatever's cheapest, we'll get the barracks. Because none of those buildings are a huge deal right now over here. Now, Hatra. It's all dark here. I don't like that. Also, I've always felt like the distance between these Armenian lands and the Pontic lands is huge. 
there should at least be a couple of maybe like one another three regions in here but you know that's just the way the game was built um again cheapest go blacksmith uh, tarsus okay that would be good to get that mine but it's going to be too expensive i think uh, Damascus will get the um, get the farms. And let's look how many places are we not building? Not many actually. We'll get we'll get the mines out here. It's not going to get attacked either. Uh, also, Ankira needs to build, but it's under siege. Okay, one more turn until these guys are done. Brilliant. Now we can go and take retake Sidon. We did take Sidon before. It's a minor city. Um, so we'll go for the yeah, we'll go for the siege towers. Now over here we are getting to full sized army, two more, and then we'll move out. Um actually no. Screw that. Let's go. Um Control A doesn't seem to work that much anymore. I don't know why. Uh, we will go straight for Jerusalem. And then when these guys are done, they'll join up. Palmyra's screwed. I know we exterminated them. We should not have done that. Right. There's going to be riots in Fraspa. That is the one issue that we have here. That blockaded is a huge detriment. What about over here, though? This shouldn't be. It's just distance capital and squalor. Um, this should help a lot. Once, you know, once that building's done, we'll just focus on public order. Now, how are we doing up here? They're always going to be slightly unhappy, but just because of how far away from the capital we are, distance capital minus 80. Is, I think that's the cap, right? Minus 80. Um, I guess we'll find out. Now, what do we want to do here? This army is coming. I think instead of attacking these guys, we'll just go straight for the siege. Because that will bring this Scythian army over here. Now, Scythia would be nice to deal with early. Just because the lands are just so big and spread out. Like, these guys are going to... If they go up here and take this... You know, it's going to take us ages to get back there and take it back. Um... You know, and we don't really have a good recruiting center over here. You know, Campus Saka is a minor city, but look how far away it is from anything. You know, we, we need some watchtowers over here, really, but that's fine. So, you guys are waiting. You guys are waiting. We've attacked Sidon. Uh, we're going to attack Jerusalem. Now, we need you guys to come and attack here. They, that, that is, it is not... Uh, AI control disabled. This army will be under my direct command. Yep, good. All right, let's go. This should be very easy. We just need to focus on the general rather than the rather than the eastern infantry. The eastern infantry will just break as soon as the general's dead. Even probably from overwhelming numbers. That is one of the best things about it. Um, you know, horse archers are brilliant and i think we've proved that this whole whole episode um we'll just talk a little bit about the channel i know i haven't uploaded for ages um just been so busy with work and everything um we're gonna probably be going back on twitch a bit uh, age of empires 4 has just come out so i do want to give that a bit of time on the channel but hopefully we'll get this path your campaign finished um i don't know whether we're going to go for full world conquest but we'll go we'll go close to it anyway um we'll definitely want to beat the romans that was one of the, that was the main objective when uh, this came out the problem is the romans at the minute are looking pretty shockingly bad oh they're up here um i don't want you to fire it will actually how are we doing up here peasants peasants you can just like stay away Let's come around this way, actually, just so that this horse archer doesn't get caught up in the melee. You, yeah. Yeah, we've all got the same settings. I think we go fire at the general. We can play this on fast, because... Get away, get away. 
put you on fire at will while we're running away. Yep. It's weird how that one is different. I guess there's an obstacle. Ah, uh, there's this tree. You know what? We'll just fire at will. We will have enough ammunition to kill them all, I think. So much faster than their general, like, he's never going to be able to catch us. Fast moving troops. Uh, general's, what is it? A barbarian warlord. Uh, yeah, the barbarian warlord's definitely not fast moving. I don't think any of the generals are fast moving, if I'm not mistaken. We are firing uphill. That is a detriment to us. Um, I don't want just to, I just don't want to get caught on the edges of the map because that general that general manages to actually charge us. That will be a bit of a disaster. We've seen how morale strikes can strike um, one of these armies because these guys have terribly low morale. That is a one big detriment about them. So I do think when we you know when we get the chance. We'll have a few of these horse archer armies around. I think we'll go for Persian archers, honestly, just because in melee they're so much better. Like a, a full Parthian army, to me, is probably four units of archers. Obviously, two generals, four units of archers, so that's six. Um, and then probably four cataphracts two war elephants so that's 12 and then eight persian archers that are fully decked out with the uh, gold gold armor and gold uh, gold weapons get away get away yeah, good your response time is good barbarian wall is getting shredded these guys are also getting shredded it's nice yep yeah, let's wait a sec Right, let's go. Barbarian Wall is just getting absolutely shredded here. Ah, uh, guys, a couple of them are getting tired. Um, that might hamper our speed, but I'm sure they will also get tired. We're also probably at a point now where if we just charge these guys, we'd win. But you just don't know with these guys, because see, if they they might break our troops here, that is one issue. Let's go. Get back. Okay, no, they've retreated again, which is kind of surprising. How many... Is he going to withdraw yet or not? No, he's only on seven. Seven troops left, which is not many. There we are. There's just two barbarian warlords left. I'm sure these guys are going to withdraw when the when the warlord's gone. So um, I don't know what they're doing. Surely they're going to break soon. One of them broken. They're rebels, though. That's the one issue. I think they're rebels, aren't they? So if we beat them, they will just disappear. But they will uh, come back. These rebels. Have we lost any men? We've lost one. I know about ten in that other. Just, just kill this guy. I don't think. Oh, there we are. He's dead. Brilliant. Yeah, nice. We're done. Very good. Very, very, very promising. Um, absolutely brilliant. When one side goes against the enemy with the god's gift of stronger morale, then their adversaries, as a rule, cannot withstand them. Morale is a big thing, but. Our horse archers have very shit morale, and they are beating people with good morale. So, Xenophon, it's not quite right in the context of a <laughs> Rome Total War Remastered, or uh, Total War Rome Remastered. So, when did that flip happen of the name? Like, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't think Total War Rome Remastered sounds good. Rome Total War Remastered. Okay. Fine, yeah. Rome, Total War. Sounds good. Total War, Rome. I don't know. I don't like it. But then again, I don't really like a lot of the choices Creative Assembly have made. But, you know, um, everyone's the same. You have certain game studios like Bethesda, for example. Everyone loved them when Skyrim came out. 
Now they are literally a, the laughing stock <laughs> of the game industry. Even more so than EA. Like there's the whole debacle with Fallout 76. Atrocious, atrociously released game. Just a big cash grab. Didn't even have NPCs. Um, right, we'll go for this guy. I like I like promoting uh, captains when they they come. Uh, what's his trait? Good commander, command talent, and he's publicly loyal. Brilliant. He's not going to get bribed then. Um, you can go into there, and then what? Are we joining up with you? I think we are. I think that's what the deal was. So let's come through this way. Right. Let's just check. Hmm. I think these rebels will let me go. I don't really want to fight that battle. It'd just be, you know, 10 minutes for a shit little battle. Um, you guys as well. Why? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure why we recruited you. We aren't recruiting anymore, are we? Well, we might as well retrain these guys while we can. I think because of the Seleucids. Uh, does the Seleucids have one more? Temple of Artemis. Cost of religious buildings by 30. Not actually brilliant. But, uh, building construction f is really good. But the best one is definitely Zeus. Four bonus population loyalty. That is excellent. Now, what does Alexandria do? Halves. Increases naval movement. That's good. Shrine of Babylon. That's also really good, actually. Now, up here, we kind of need to start recruiting a little army to go take this settlement don't i don't know i don't really want to <laughs> i think we'll use one of these um to go clean them up there's an also a settlement here so once we've taken jerusalem you can come across this main army can come down here they don't have a huge amount of armies left and and look at them they're just trash desert axemen Look at that armor three. They are going to fall so easily. They have Nubian spearmen have zero. I didn't realize that. That is terrible. Like a lot of these guys have zero armor. Like the highest armor they have is three. So they should fall so easily to our horsemen. Even though they're not experienced, this is kind of a new army. These guys are getting experienced though. Like look at that missile attack twelve. That is excellent. Um, right, let's see. Half blocks, yeah, fine. Send the turn. See, that's come from that other region, I'm pretty sure. Well, we'll take seed on this turn. And then we'll attack these guys. Also got to remember to take the... We need to recruit some ships just to take... Salamis? Is it, it's Salamis, isn't it? Been a while. Been a while, guys. Been a while. And we've also... Yeah, Frost, I expected that. Still on 60% though. I'll tell you what. That's 65. How much do these cost? Oh, nothing. 120. I think we'll, we'll do that so it gets to 65. And then I think one more unit might be enough to get them up to 70 where they won't revolt. Hand pump. I like the little messages about the, uh, about the inventions, but it would be nice, honestly, if... The inventions like actually made a difference. Okay, the wooden wall does give happiness. Excellent. Um, Seleucia, right? Seleucia, we need to start concentrating on getting public order out here. But <laughs> war elephants. I don't know. War elephants sounds more fun. Uh, it's more expensive. Well, we'll do that. We, we're we building nearly everywhere, so our productivity is really high. Now, Antioch, you are our main recruiting hub at the minute. Um, down here anyway, so we 100% need a blacksmith. Sinop? Hmm. Not hugely important. I think we'll go for farming. Uh, Palmyra? You can get a blacksmith as well. Nicomedia. Nicomedia could do with a port, really. We also need to remember to retrain all these guys. And while we're here, we do have a peasant. 
don't think we need to train anyone else, honestly. Oh wait, let's let's train a train a diplomat and start getting some map information from all these guys down here. So also find out. Okay, all these guys. These guys are making some money. What are you doing? All right, let's go for silk. I don't understand merchants because I never played Medieval Two. <laughs> Wait, you're a spy. Yeah, I don't have any diplomats left. You're here. Let's go have a look up here. Okay, there's another army. We've got loads of little armies about. Bostra. Bostra's a large town. That's actually quite good. The other spies down there. I know that. Um, just checking for armies coming down here. Okay, they do have another army, but as I say, it will be just absolute trash, like usual. That's the problem with Egypt at the start. They have no armoured units. Even their pharaoh's units, I don't think, are hugely armoured. Not compared to like the Roman units or the cataphracts. Um, the chariots are a nuisance to deal with, but apart from that, not too bad. We are starting to be a bit more positive in terms of our income. I think we get two more ships up here. Oh no, we're recruiting the peasants. Um, yeah, well, we'll uh, recruit two more ships in uh, Arsakia anyway. Do we want to start recruiting a little army up here? Quite like that to be done and then we can recruit Persian cavalry and we'll have that Persian cavalry unit uh, army march all the way to the coast and we'll decide where we want to go with them uh, at that point you okay hmm you're all getting retrained so let's bring you through here and we have a lot of generals around here we need more cities for them to manage really you're 74. Wow. Wow. You were going to come and manage Antioch, I think. Yeah. You do have one management. You're young. You're a bureaucrat. That's good. Yeah, he's good. He's good manager. Um, Nicomedia is a large town. I think... What are we going to do here? Your useless assessor is not good, but bureaucrat is... I think you'll manage like Pergamum or something down here, so let's not worry too much about these guys. And I don't know what we want to do. Sinope's minor city. Could get one of you guys to come and manage Sinope. Nah. Do you know what? We should. That's the problem. I've got too many generals right now. <laughs> I don't want a general stack too much as well. Like, that's bit cheesy um, we'll build a watchtower here and let's come down this way and see what's going on like if we get attacked we've got two general units they should be able to you know withdraw well enough and not die uh, even if we get routed or something like that so we'll see right let's take Sinope we've only had one battle so far haven't we so should be relatively easy Stone walls, bit of a nightmare to deal with, but uh, should be okay. The best thing about the Egyptian settlements is that they have a lovely, lovely way in for our troops. A lot better than some of the others. Um, some of the other cities are just a nightmare to deal with. The, um, what do you call it? The barbarian ones are quite good as well for horse, horse archers I'm talking about. Um... But, like, the Roman ones are okay. It's the Greek ones where they have a lot of turns, especially the Greek smaller towns. They are a nightmare. Saddle horses are the main thing. Right, so. See, this. This is absolutely ideal. Like, perfectly ideal. Now, we could go from one side... Do we go through... What the hell? 
Okay, uh, because it's... It's just wool. Thinking, is it... Why do we have ammo on this? I think it's because it's a big siege tower. Uh, right, we'll put half of you guys here. Here, the first one. You go to here. And then half of you guys here. Oh, God. That's a lot. Let's send the army general here as well. Don't really need to organize too badly. These guys are going to get a bit shot up, but they're only hillmen. I don't care. Really don't care. Um, problem is here, we're going to get shot. So, need this guy to go as quick as possible. Probably should have just gone there, really. Um, but let's speed it. Chariots as well. Um, but that's the idea of going from both sides, so that whatever happens, we'll be able to shoot from both sides. Oh, no, this siege tower's gone. Right, get out, then. Hmm. It's not ideal, that. This siege tower cannot fall then, otherwise we'll have to withdraw and build some more. Who are these guys? Desert Cavalry. Um, we might... We'll try to get round without getting shot up too much. You guys, you guys come around as well. Um, right, we'll come here first, take this tower. Yep, there we are. Come here, and then we'll try take these towers up here. I think, honestly, we'll only use these guys if we need to anyway. I don't think we'll need to. Okay, they're firing already. Brilliant. Come forward. Never noticed that noise that they make when they fire before, actually. Don't really want to get in. That's the one problem. I think we might get the hillmen down off the off the towers. Okay, not a lot of arrows are actually hitting them, I don't think. I don't want to get caught by these chariots. That is the main issue that we, we, will, we will have. Um, if you come here, it looks like they're probably going to fire the chariots into us. Nope, chariots are coming. You come this way. That's a desert cavalry. Ah, no one, gives a, no one cares about them. You can even come through here. Okay, fine. You guys get in here. I want just just you guys to start with. Ah, uh, it's the pathing. Come on, horses. <laughs> this is uh, like I, I love the I love playing with the Parthians because of how strong they are. This is just the main issue, though. Get attacked by that chariot. I'm assuming they're firing arrows at us. We're, we're, we're killing. We've killed one. They will have a few. They have a few hit points though. So yeah, we'll go there. I don't really mind. I want you to go fire at them. Oh wow! 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 Wow, that was easy. All right, General, let's go. Let's get up here. Honestly, just get you guys up here. No, you guys should probably just come around this way, I think. Ah, you can't path them. I need to go kill that desert cavalry. 
Now, why are you running through that way? That's not ideal. <laughs> Just not really bothered though now, that's a problem. Because we killed their general. Should break most of these guys quite easily. Um, get all you guys off that. Like, whatever happens here, if we can just tie them in for a little bit, get the general out, I do not want you to die to some desert axeman. That would be very embarrassing. Okay, one of them died. I'm glad that guy wasn't the general, though. We should be shredding them with the arrows here. Right, I just want to slow these guys down, because the arrows will just shred them. with. They have no armor. Problem is, we're going to be firing at our own troops here now. Um, honestly, get rid of that, and let's just let's just go. Boom! Charge them, kill them all. Wow, five in our general's unit bodyguard. I'm assuming most of that was from our own arrows. Oh well, <sighs> that's the issue. The risk you got to take, isn't it, when you uh playing with the old Parthians, so not too bothered. But yeah, that's good. It's a good little um good little victory. We've taken Sidon back. I think we enslave again. And then we get something like this. Expansion of Katias. Very nice. Um one thing it does mean is we won't be able to repair any buildings here. Do we need to repair? No. Not Destroying Shrine to Horus, though. Hopefully, we've got enough to build Shrine to Zoroastrian. No. Nope. We're not going to have no, enough money for that. Uh, where did we. Hmm, Seleucia. Is there anything here that goes up? That's two turns. No, we do want that. Anywhere we're building something new that's maybe not needed and can be cheaper. Oh, well, we don't need to build that yet. So, let's go trying to Zoroastra. Let's retrain these guys. And let's get a peasant to hold the fort while we're gone. Um, yeah, these guys won't attack. They've built no siege equipment yet. So, they'll build the siege equipment next one. So yeah, let's end the turn. See what happens. I think we're at end turn phase, right? Unless... Okay, yeah. Let's go. I was going to... I was going to uh, auto-resolve that, but... Honestly, it's not worth it at the minute with the auto-resolve. Also, should check where that army's going. I really don't want to have to deal with that army going up there. There's also a tiny little province up there that we need to take at some point um honestly probably just get a general and get full like a mercenary like half stack and then go and try and take it i don't think it'll be too full of troops because it's a rebel settlement but you never know um there'll be horse archers though as well hmm right Get these guys all together. I don't think we'll need these rams, honestly. I think we'll be able to kill them without them. These guys are cool. I like them. Sarmatian mercenary. Look at those spears. Awesome. Come on. Wait. Okay. You, yeah, you don't have the thing. I don't think we'll, we will lose any of our horse archers here if we can help it. They don't even have the, the thing, so we don't need to worry about going close to the wall. Hmm, maybe actually. Okay, this barbarian settlement, I think because it's... Is it a minor city or a large town? That's the Hall of Heroes. Uh, I don't really play barbarian people very much. That could be the next thing. Sacred Grove of Kalaske. That's... High King's Hall, so I think it's a minor city. See, this is a lot harder to get through. It's kind of like one of the... 
I was thinking they would come, but I'm guessing not. All right, I think we'll just kill them with the Eastern Infantry, the Sarmatians, and the General. I don't want to have to deal with using... Um, using the horse archers it's going to be so messy inside here need some field battles siege after siege eh? oh, that episode a couple of episodes ago was great i really enjoyed it where we uh, absolutely pummeled the egyptians in like three Three, uh, three different battles where we destroyed three of their armies. Brilliant. Get you... We don't need you on skirmish. Sarmatians as well. Let's get you... I forgot that we need to get you in. Yeah, these Eastern Infantry cannot really withstand the, the general, even though it's Barbarian Warlord. But four units of them should be able to. And we'll also get our general firing into them. Oh my god, they broke straight away. And we only have 25 in this general. And we can't lose him because he's the only one we have over here. Let's get out and let's get the Sarmatians into him. They broke on the charge instantly, even with the general nearby. I know we're on hard difficulty. Um, you guys, what can we do? If we press here, how many will go here? Or like there, maybe? Yep, Sarmation. Okay, all the East Infantry are running away now. Barbarian Wall has only lost one guy. Has he got... I don't think he's got any armor and stuff. Or maybe one, or one experience. Sarmations are going as well. Right, okay, we will have to use you guys then. Right, right what do we want to do? I think we do that to start with. If we can. Oh no, he's come in here now. So let's let's do that, but like, don't run. Maybe okay. No, we'll come this way. Do that again. Um, you get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Okay, turning into a disaster, <laughs> and it's literally just one general's unit. We still are firing into them. That should. You know, okay, half of you guys could do with, if anything, we might just have to delay them for a little bit. Like we can't have this on anymore. You get through here. Uh, I want you guys to come and attack. We'll lead them to the Eastern Infantry because that's the most important thing right now. Should be firing on them. I want Sarmatians to slow them down. Um, and the Eastern Infantry. Right, let's get a good charge in here, if we can. See, this This is like, this might be the... Is this a faction leader then? 45? Okay, Sarmatians have run, so let's go. Get out, General, get out. No, the Eastern Infantry just broke, like, looking at them. Big issue there. Right, General, get out. We're going to have to do this with the Horse Archers, <laughs> like we originally thought. Problem is, it's an absolute nightmare to, to move around this area. Um, that's the other good thing with the Persian Infantry. Persian uh, Persian guys is the fact that they are, are a lot tighter in their formation so a lot easier to move around yeah if we lose those Eastern Infantry I'm not bothered really do you know what um, you guys stop firing we'll charge these archers because they will not be able to withstand us you Sarmatians I want you to charge again even though your morale is horrendous Oops, sorry, I knocked the microphone then. They're not good. They, they are terrible. Oh, we've completely destroyed them. Alright, now put your thing on. 
I'm honestly going to go outside of the city when these guys get too close. Unless they do that. Hold. No, we're going to do it three at a time as we normally do. Any of these guys getting shot? I don't think so. Right. Scythian. Not Scythian. Scythian. No. No. I have to do two at a time. This is. I, I was just saying how the barbarian ones are all right, but these shite. The pathing is shocking. No, right. Three. Let's get back here. Oh my god, you can't even get through the gate! That is the big issue with this. Like, I wish they would have improved it. Like, they had an opportunity to. Apparently, it is improved, but... I've played a lot of the original. And I, I mean... Thousands of hours, probably. Um, and it certainly doesn't feel like it's improved too much. To be honest. No, these barbarian warlords should not be able to catch you guys. Let's go. No, don't do that, you idiots. Come on. Well, if they come... If they want to chase down a routing one of ours and come into the Hail of Arrows, I'm not too, honestly, too bothered by that. Um, it not look like they want to. Right, okay, we should, like... 15 versus 7? No. Not on this difficulty, we might break. And if our general breaks, he will die. And right, now we'll do it. Now, even if they charge us here, they've only got three. If we break... Yeah, there we are. End that battle. Wow! Where's AC Eastern Infantry? Wow, they did they did a brilliant job, as you can see. They inflicted two, they inflicted one. Wow. I don't think any of them... Did any survive? Maybe two units survived, but... <laughs> it's not ideal, is it? Um, pretty terrible, really. Uh, but, what can you do? Uh, what do we want to do? I'm guessing it is a city. I think... I think we exterminate. Yeah. Like, if we'd enslaved, they would still be very unhappy. They'll also be pretty unhappy. Now I've delete this. 65. It's okay. We'll repair this and get the Zoroastra and we'll be good. Now, we've got to set about changing the culture to something slightly better for us. Uh, I'll get rid of the 50. Retrain you. Get their peasants. Um, I'm hoping these guys do not attack. Won't be ideal. We'll get one horse archer because I know they have horse archers, but if they do attack, it will be slightly better. Resistance futile. Retinue expands. Decorated hero. Great. Tanias is a good town to have. It's in a good spot. Um, now, I wonder how much more the Scythians have in terms of... Uh, land. I hope not much more. Because <laughs> they are terrible to deal with. Right. That looks all good. I think we're doing well. So let's end the turn there. Salute so kids are back again. Uh, luckily we have our men nearby. We do need to deal with the Salute kids. Right. Trade rights. I was going to do that myself. Map information for map information, just so I can see. Don't want an alliance because I want your monument. Okay, they have come towards Tanias. That's good. Candidate for adoption, use a superior commander. 
great. Tanias as well. That's kind of something we needed. Egypt, yeah. This guy again. Annoying, but it's okay. Wait, wait. Actually, that was interesting. Allies, Spain and Julia and Seleucids and Greeks. Seleucids we're already at war with, so... This is still rebel territory. Is it? Yeah, it's still rebel territory. What have the Seleucids been doing? I know this ta this starts as shit, but it's a minor city now. Now, Arsakia, they're a bit happier, but we need to keep making them happy. Uh, there's no buildings apart from that to make them happier. Great. Um, Frasper, uh, can we stop with this now? Yes, we can. We need these build these places upgraded so we can actually start making some proper buildings. Go for the execution square. You never know when they're going to get unhappy again. Katias, obviously upgrade. Campus Samatai, go for that. Mazaka, can't build. Tarsus, go for that. Sidon. Hmm. Would be nice for somewhere else to build Persian characters. Uh, Persian cavalry, so we'll do that. It's a minor city as well. Tanias. So they're unhappy with our full army in here. So I think that's got to be that's got to be done. To retrain you guys again, and we'll recruit another peasant because when we leave here, people are going to be incredibly unhappy. Okay, I'm glad these guys are moving. We moved to a watchtower like a rebel. Which is interesting. Now, oh, do we not even have roads here? No, yeah, we'll go roads first. Then we'll go that. All right, Sidon. Let us leave this place and go attack these Egyptians and hopefully have a bit. Whoops, tabbed out again. Um, right, let's go get these guys. Don't know what happened. I must have pressed windowed. Uh, okay. Yeah, there we are. So when you press control on that, on this, doesn't really do a huge deal. Uh, no, it changes the key, the keyboard settings. I, I don't know. I don't know why. It's stupid. Hey, was this? Oh, I was going to say, is this Roman? But no, it's just the Greek. Greek city barracks. Okay, they're bringing bringing troops through. But as I say, they they are shocking troops, like really bad. This army's green though. Uh, could do with taking this. I think we'll do that that battle as the last one, and then we'll probably end the episode there. But let's see. What else do we need to do? To move you guys out. Hmm. We are neutral with them. We go straight across. We should be able to catch up. So we've got you guys. Ah, yes. If I send you to attack them first, that would be good. You can go after that. So the kids will die. That's excellent. You can go attack them. You can attack them right now, can't you? Yep. Good. Um, let's try. Okay, they didn't sink. Oh, they sunk that ship in there. Need to get back so that we can re uh, retrain them. Right. Let's just check we're building everywhere we can. I'm assuming we can't build here. Um, and let's do that last battle. What? What? Surely we are able to attack them. Get rid of these guys. Surely we can attack them now. No. Oh well, I will save it for next episode when we will continue our destruction of Egypt 
And we'll basically have cleaned up Anatolia by that point, and we'll be on to... Look, there's a Brutii. We'll be on to the Greeks, and we'll probably be at war with the Romans quite soon. Excellent. That is exactly what we want. If we can, you know, plan-wise, take these islands, these three islands, first of all. Now, we know once we've taken here, it's just shit territory all the way up to Carthage. So, if we stop worrying about this, probably have a bit of a line in the sand here, not... Don't declare war on the Nabidians. They probably won't declare war on us because we're a lot more powerful than them. Uh, well, I'm assuming we are anyway. You can have a look, but I'm, I'm assuming the Nabidians are just, yeah, terrible. Military ranking high, but their, their troops are awful. Territory, they have about six. Population's huge. Yeah. Yeah, we are just outranking them by a long way. Um, so we want to take... Greece and then on to Italy and Sicily that is ideal because these are will all be reasonably good cities now we're, we're like 30 turns into the game so they should be you know a lot of cities a lot of these are let's see like a large city uh, best the best ones to take are large cities rather than huge cities because if you take a huge city you will always have a permanent culture penalty for Greek culture we are Eastern culture army so yeah, so we'll always have a permanent permanent um, culture penalty for that huge imperial building that made it a huge city. So that's an issue, but thank you very much, guys. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I should see you again on the next episode.